How's it going, everybody? Corbin here from Zoco Marketing. Today, we are going to be talking about how to install the Pinterest tag onto your website um, through Shopify. So if you're on a Shopify store and you're looking to install the Pinterest tag on your website, then you are in the right place. Now, um, first things first, why would you want to install the Pinterest tag onto your Shopify store? The answer is if you are getting re ready to run ads through Pinterest, um, you'll definitely want to install this pixel because that way you can know how much, uh, how many purchases you're getting through the ads, what the value of those purchases are, and essentially know if, if the ads are profitable for you. Um, so definitely something to look into. I know a lot of people with the new uh, iOS 14 update are looking for other options possibly uh, uh, as opposed to Facebook ads. Um, so I know a lot of people are in that same boat and Pinterest is a great option. So I'm gonna jump right in on how to set up your tag for Pinterest ads. Once again, this is this is step one before running ads. You'll want to do this before you start running ads at all. Uh, it's, it's probably the most one of the most important things that you're gonna do. So first things first is I am inside of Pinterest and what you're gonna wanna do is click on this little ads, ads tab and it's gonna and click on conversions. And then it's gonna take you to this tab that I'm on right now. So that's how you get to where I'm currently at. <clears throat> and from here, we're gonna set up our Shopify uh, pixel or the Pinterest pixel, pixel on Shopify. So we're gonna come down here to use an integration partner. We're gonna hit get started. And Shopify, of course, has made this easy. They, they do really well with these kind of integrations. So we're gonna hit on this popular tags and integrations over here. Um, I will have a tutorial on how to do this through Tag Manager as well down below and uh, in the coming uh, com coming days. So if it's not down there, check back again in a week or so or make sure to subscribe to the channel to see when that video comes out. But for now, we're just talking about Shopify. So I'm gonna click in here in Shopify and you'll notice that it says, let's get started. And then it's gonna walk you through the steps on how to do this and you can hit continue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go now to Shopify because it's, it's, it's telling us to open Shopify. But I'm just gonna go right over here because I already have my Shopify store open. The first thing we're wa going to want to do is come to apps in this left-hand corner once we've clicked on apps we're going to see shop for apps we're going to click there we're going to wait for this to load and uh while it's loading i'm going to remind you to please like and subscribe to the channel that really helps out a ton and we're going to hit search apps we're going to hit pinterest go there that's going to load up here and we want the one actually built by pinterest so we're going to click on pinterest by pinterest inc click on this and then add this app and then that's going to load in and we're going to have steps to be able to actually integrate to our pinterest account so we're gonna wait for this to load for a second. There we go. And we're gonna hit add sales channel. And then oh, it was there for a second, connect to Pinterest account. It's gonna pop back up here. And we're going to then hit connect to Pinterest account. It's going to have me log into my Pinterest account or it's gonna connect automatically. Well, there it goes. <laughs> uh, it knew my Pinterest account just based on the Chrome. So we're gonna give this access. And then this is optional to add build it, billing. So you can actually run the ads directly from Shopify, uh, your Pinterest ads. Uh, if you plan on doing that, you can add your billing here. But for me, I like to run the Pinterest ads directly from Pinterest. So I don't add the billing. Um, we actually just come back down um, through here. And then as you can see, your account has already uh, had the, already has the Pinterest tag. So it's been automatically added to Shopify. So we're good there. And then once again, it's asking for the billing information and we're good. So now the next thing that we need to do is come back over to Shopify or sorry, back to Pinterest. And then we can hit continue. Um, these are walking through the steps that I just walked you through in the video. So continue, continue, continue. And you see add app um, and then connect to your account. And then once we've done that, we hit continue here. And then congratulations, you've finished. It may take up to 10 minutes for you to detect your new tag, but let's go test it and see. I'm gonna show you how to confirm that it's working. Um, and we're gonna hit done here. So we're gonna now go to our site and test out the, the, the tag. Okay, and the next step to check to make sure that the tag is working is we're gonna come to Chrome and we're gonna add the Pinterest tag helper. So just Google Pinterest tag helper, it'll show up. We're gonna add this to Chrome real quick. Then we're gonna hit add extension. Wait for it to come up there. And then there is our Pinterest tag. Sometimes you have to add it to, uh, you have to pin it here so you can see it. There we go. And then we're gonna come back over to Shopify. We're gonna go and actually view our store. And this is one of my demo stores. If you watched my video before, you notice that's something that I've been procrastinating building for, for a while, um, but uh, we are here anyway. So uh, as you can see, the, the Pinterest tag is already firing a couple of events inside there. We have two. So we look and no tag issues or warnings found. Um, initialize events was set, sent successfully. So, uh, so we have no issues and the page view was sent successfully. So that's a good sign, right? So the first event is uh, sent su uh, successfully. Now, um, page view is one thing that you wanna track, but of course you wanna be able to track um, things like add to cart or purchase. So we're gonna go through and test and make sure that that flow is working as well. So we have page view firing. 
But now we're going to come to the catalog and actually click on one of the products and make sure that when we add it to the cart, that the Pinterest tag is reading that event as well. So we're going to come in here. We're going to click on one of these products and we are going to, uh, because we're viewing the product, this should come over here and say view product, but let's see what it says. Give it just a second to load up. Uh, there we go. Page visit event successful with warnings. So the product category is missing. This isn't something you need to worry about right now for the purpose of this tutorial, but, um, that has fired successfully. And then if we hit add to cart, there should be another event that fires here. As you can see, we have three and then add to cart has been successfully fired. So, uh, the Pinterest tag is now working. It's successfully on there. And another way that you could test this as well. Um, if you come back over here to Pinterest, uh, you can come over to test events. Now, keep in mind that uh, this sometimes takes up to 10 minutes and we've been doing this pretty much real time. So um, it, it may take a little bit more time for this to work. What we just did is kind of the fast way to do it, but you could also come over here, grab your URL and then test event and then launch. And once that is on side of there, then you can come back over to Pinterest. Give it just a second to load in back over to Pinterest. And then as, as you can see here, a uh, it's received the event, the page tag is uh, uh, firing and initialized. So that's another way to test that the Pinterest tag is working. You can do one or the other of these options. You can either add the Chrome helper, which is the way that I prefer, because then you can test all those other events inside of there, or you can also test them inside of Pinterest itself. Just wanted to give you both of those options inside of there, or you can test both if you really want to make sure that it's, it's working correctly. Um, but that's everything that I got for you today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you found it helpful and to like the video so that other people can see uh, this information as well. And we will see you in the next video.